Chapter 31, last chapter in the book. It's called The Sort of Safeway. Are you ready for this? My name is Florian Bates. I'm 12 years old and a seventh grader at Alice Deal Middle School in Washington, D.C. I'm a consulting detective for the FBI. I'm a rabid fan of the D.C. Dynamo Girls soccer team, and I never leave leftover egg rolls for fear that they'd remain uneaten in the event of a zombie apocalypse. I also helped thwart the biggest art heist in U.S. history. And nobody knows about it. Well, almost no one. And that's okay because the people who do know are the only ones that matter to me. My parents, who despite taking too many pictures, are pretty great. My FBI handler, who somehow manages to be cool and geeky, old school and cutting edge, all at the same time. And my best friend, who's, well, who's the best person I've ever known. And it really sucks because I know the answer to the one question that matters the most to her, and I can't tell her. I have to lie. But other than that, life's pretty great. Margaret and I are walking home from school, and I jokingly nod toward the rear of the Safeway. What do you say, I ask? Want to take a shortcut? She gives me a look, that trademark trademark Margaret look, and asks, Do I have to remind you what Ben Franklin said? Ben Franklin did not say, nothing good ever happens when you're surrounded by dumpsters. I guarantee it. I'm pretty sure he did, she replies. I think it was in Poor Richard's Almanac. Ben Franklin was dead long before the dumpster was even invented. End of story. She flashes a big smile and admits, maybe, but it's still pretty good advice. I cannot argue with that, I say, reflecting back on my recent experiences. I'd have to rate this as very strong on the advice meter. So what are you going to do now that the case is solved and you're back to being a lowly seventh grader again? Well, seventh grade does have its perks, I say. For example, you never get kidnapped in the halls. You see, And you didn't like those metal detectors at first, but they keep things safe, she jokes. And while Florian Bates' investigations is small, we're hoping to grow, I continue. That's right, we still have an open case, Hornet's Nest. The mention of the search for her birth parents fills me with guilt. I'm really sorry that I haven't found them yet, I say, and I mean it. I know I promise, but... It will take as long as it takes, she says, cutting me off. If there's one thing I know, it's that you'll find them, Florian. I believe in you completely. I'm tempted to tell her everything on the spot. Best friends are truthful with each other, right? But before I can respond, it starts to rain. And not just a little sprinkle, but fully drenching rain. I give her a look, and then I look back toward the Safeway. You sure you don't want to take the shortcut, I ask? It's the fastest way to someplace dry. She weighs her options for a moment and nods, streams of water already running down her face. But let's go around that way, she says, pointing to a slightly different route than I took before. We'll call that the sort of safe way, I suggest. We sprint across the street and I hold up the bottom of the chain link fence so that she can get under it. When she reaches the other side, she does the same for me. If we run into any shady characters, remember to unleash the fury of your kung fu, I joke. We run alongside the line of dumpsters, trying to use our backpacks to shield us from the rain. And when we turn the corner, we run right up against a black, unmarked van its engine loudly vibrating, its wipers furiously pumping across the windshield. I don't believe it, I say. Oh my gosh, says Margaret, what have I done? The door slides open and there he is, a massive smile on his face. 
Haven't you learned your lesson yet, says Special Agent Marcus Rivers? It's just like Mark Twain said, nothing good ever happens when you're surrounded by dumpsters. That's who said it, said Margaret, Mark Twain. It was not Mark Twain, I protest. It was Margaret. Margaret made up that quote. Margaret is who said it. Well, he says, Margaret must be pretty smart because it's good advice. Yes, it is. She and I have already agreed to that. Is that why you did this? You came back here to terrify us so you could make up fake quotes about dumpsters while we stand in the rain? Actually, no, he says. Then what are you doing here? It seems as though we have a situation and we need your help. He turns to look back at Margaret and adds, Both of you. The Admiral sent me. So what do you say? You interested? Margaret and I share a look. Now totally oblivious to the rain pummeling on us. Adventure is calling. Who are we to say no? So that's the end of the book. And... Um, it sounds like they're going to be going on more adventures. You'll have to look for um, James Ponty is the author and see if there's more um, books by him about Florian Bates. And what I want you to do is write a note to me today and tell me what you think about this book. Rate it with one, two, three, or four stars and tell me why. Thanks, guys. Tomorrow we start a new one.